All right, guys, how you doing? It's Rabia. I hope you're all well. So this video is brought to you in association with Hughes and Kettner. This is a sponsored video. However, we are looking at an awesome new product that they brought out not so long ago. Today, we're looking at the Black Spirit 200 floorboard amp. So the Black Spirit 200 is a series. It's an amplifier that Hughes and Kettner brought out a little while back. Uh, I actually did a demo of it with my friend Joss Allen on my channel, which I'll put a link in the description box. So what we've got here is essentially a 200 watt amplifier in the shape of a floorboard so the the whole point here is for it to be more portable for you to be able to take this tour it um you know go around wherever you need to go with it because you can literally put it in your suitcase in your bag i mean it's it's not a small floorboard but it's definitely more portable than the uh, the black spray amplifier by t by the way of its shape basically so the easiest way of thinking about this product is it's the black spirit amp in a floorboard with a couple of extra bits so apart from the couple of extra bits, I suppose it's worth saying that what they've tried to do as well with this floorboard is, is meld the foot switch and the amplifier together. That's basically what it looks like in a way, as you can see on the close-up camera. Uh, so you've got that foot switch that you can, you know, you can use it with any of the Hughes and Kettner amplifiers, and you can, you know, go through all your different presets and control different features of whatever Hughes and Kettner amplifier it is. In the same way, this is sort of mashed together with the with the amplifier, so you can control the whole amplifier. You can control your presets, scroll through your banks. Uh, you can use it in a stomp box mode. You can use it in something called direct seven mode, which gives you seven presets along the front, so you don't need to worry about shifting banks or anything like that. Um, so they've made it really flexible on that side of things, which is great. The sort of couple of additional features that come with the floorboard are things like you've got two pre-loops which you can see on the top left of the pedal essentially those are two loops that are placed in front of the black spirit amplifier just in the same way you could plug a, a pedal into the front of your amp head um, so you can take your favorite boosts or you know overdrives or whatever it is you want to use in front of the black spirit you've got two of those which you can preset you can program them in do what you want with so that's that's really really cool other new features on the side you've got a little uh, switch which can go between preset mode stomp box mode and direct seven essentially programming your presets and scroll through the banks of those or use it in stomp box mode so you can control all your effects from those buttons like delay reverb modulation you can stomp them in and out as you wish uh, and then you've got direct seven which you basically program in the seven presets along these seven buttons on the front and it works basically like a preset amplifier that you've programmed, so it's, it's really cool. You've also got uh, two expression, well, control outs on the side, which you could use for volume pedals, expression pedals, um, control pedals, things like that, on the same side, which is sick. On the back, I've got a little picture because I can't get around the back of there to see it as it's set up in front of the camera, but essentially what you've got is you've got your AES technology for the tube, which is that little red strip along the front, which is their special sort of patented tube design. Um, which is really cool. Alongside that, you've basically got your uh, speaker out. So it, as I said, it's a 200 watt amplifier, so you can send that to a speaker, but there's a switch for full range or a guitar cabinet, which is really cool. On top of that, you've got a three-way switch for your wattage, so it can go from two watts to 20 watts to 200 watts. Uh, and then you've got uh, adaptable speaker outs from eight up to 16 ohms, which is very handy. Next up is a little bit different from Hughes and Kettner's other stuff in the sense that you've got the red box DI out, but in the past you had sort of preset cab models. Uh, you kind of it's kind of similar, but what you've got is um, you're, you've just got a DI out on the back of this, and you access all your different cabinet types on the front of the amplifier, which is very cool. And then you've basically got line and mic level, and you basically can turn that on and off. So for this demo, we are actually just using the DI out, so you can hear all the cab simulation and all that stuff. And then you've got MIDI programmable, you've got MIDI in, MIDI out and through. Uh, you've got an effects loop on the back as well to add additional effects if you if you choose to use those. And then you've got a monitor in, so you can actually control, you can have a little wedge monitor that this can power and you can essentially hear yourself back on stage so you don't need to worry about a sound tech or monitor engineer ruining your sound on stage, which does happen. So already you can tell it's crammed full of features, but quickly along the front, is the way the amp generally works. So you've basically got your four amp types on the left, as you can see, you've got clean, crunch, lead, and ultra in terms of gain. There's a little boost switch underneath that as well, which you can program in and out. Uh, and then you've got controls that, that act as sort of dual purpose. So imagine them split into two halves. The top half is gain, volume, then you've got your bass, middle, treble, then you've got uh, your noise gate, 
Then you've got sagging, which is essentially like power amp sagging, like the amount of compression that the amplifier provides. Uh, really useful for different, for many different reasons. Then you've got resonance, presence, uh, master, and then you've got a phones or line uh, out, which is very cool. And then the same controls, if you imagine their second purpose, is to control uh, things like uh, cabinet type effects, the amount. So in fact, if we go from right to left, because along the bottom here, you've got your different controls, things like storing presets, effects loop on and off. And then you see this button here um, is effects access, which means when you press it in, it allows us to use these pots to control all the effects. So we've firstly, sagging also doubles as cab type, noise gate also doubles as reverb, treble also uh, doubles as delay level, then mid is feedback, bass is delay time, volume is modulation type and gain is intensity. So it's, I love the way that they've managed to cram in so much functionality into not much on even the amp face or on the floorboard version. Um, so that's basically it. It's a lot. It does a lot already and using Ketner stuff sounds great as it is. So what I'm going to do is going to use my ML3 beer sig. We're going direct out of this into the Universal Audio Apollo X8P. Uh, so let's check it out. Okay, so first what I want to do is just do a bit of functionality testing, if you know what I mean. Uh, so I'm going to play and show you how you can affect certain elements of the Black Spirit 200 floorboard amplifier. We're starting on a clean. Uh, I've kind of made everything halfway. So this is how it sounds, neck pickup. It's a very pristine clean. That's sort of as clean as I could get it. Obviously, this is the silo humbucker, so it's high output, but this is what you've got on the clean channel. If I color split it down, you get a beautiful sort of pristine bridge tone. So that's basically how the clean sounds. Now before we move on, the first thing I'm going to do is a uh, touch on the sag. So touch on the sag. If I crank the sagging up, you'll notice it's more compressed. It gets a bit louder. It's a bit more, uh, well, less dynamic, but feels more um, comfortable to play. So, and now as I crank it up to five. Now if I turn the sagging on full, check this out, it's like really compressed, more gain. Yeah, it's, it's really compressed so you can play quite easily with that. But it is useful, um, you know, for many different purposes. You know, if you're doing clean funk stuff or you want to do cr country stuff with a bit of get, uh, crunch, that will help make that a lot of an easier thing to do. So it's nice that they've put that on the front. Next, let's just do the effects access. So when I turn that on, let's start bringing in uh, some reverb. So. It's like a spring, quite pristine again. So, okay, next, let's bring in some delay. So it's a delay, it's like a digital delay. It's nice and pristine, sounds really cool. Let's change the speed. So that's cool. Um, so let's just turn the delay down a little bit. Now let's move on to modulation. So I'm going to bring up the intensity and let's start with chorus. Mm -hmm. 
lovely sounding chorus, right? Flanger. And then we've got phaser. Oh, wrong control. Phaser. Phase is great, and then we got tremolo. And then you've got tremolo. So obviously you've got loads of stuff that you can just quickly dial in and get a preset going. It's, you know, much like the other Hughes and Kettner products, it's really easy to just dial in something, get it nice and quick, and it sound good and easy to use. So, you know, no surprise there. But anyway, that's what the effects sound like, and that's basically how you navigate. Simply just press the effects access button and you can jump between those two different things. Next up, before we move on to cab type, I'm just going to show you from the clean, which we've heard, we're going to move to the crunch now. So that's the crunch, it's nice and spanky. It, it always sounds great for that spanky, like almost like classic rock strati, or almost, you know, cause there's quite a lot of top end in that. So yeah, it's wicked, right. Let's try the different cabs. So we'll start here. Next one. Next cab. Here we go. Loads of different cab tones going on. So you can clearly hear there's loads of different cab tones and that's obvious, uh, obviously useful for things like clean, crunch, high gain amplifiers. There are different cabs for different applications. Really nice that it's accessible from the front so you can quickly have a listen to each one, see if it works for that sound. Um, again, super useful. If we mess with the sagging real quick on that sound. Let's change the cab. Try that and then boost the sagging right up. Yeah, sounds great. Change 
the cab. <laughs> So as you can see, I was just flicking around the different cabs and they all sound very different. So that's a good thing because depending on the style or the genre that you're trying to play, the cab will make a big difference. If there's something that you just can't quite find out of the EQ, for example, and you're like, something's, I just need something different, it'll probably be the cab. Mess with that and you'll find something that works. Um, okay, so that was crunch. Let's see how intense it gets with the boost. Firstly, let's change the cab again. Okay, let's throw the boost on. Sounds great. Let's uh, throw on some delay. So the thing I'm enjoying is the feel of it. It's really nice. It, you know, it feels like there's an, a nice amount of compression, even though the sag's not on full. That control is quite nice if you just want to find, you know, it almost makes it easier for you to play your guitar in a way. Um, so yeah, it's nice. It feels good. It sounds nice too. It's a nice barky kind of crunch tone. So yeah, I'm digging that. Okay, so we've heard crunch. Let's move to lead. I've switched it over, put everything roughly at 12. This is what we've got. <laughs> Again, feels really easy to play. Let's boost the game. This is great. Okay, so this is a great uh, demonstration of the different cab types because you'll hear everything from what sounds great to what doesn't work in this tone. So this is number one. So I'm not a fan of that with this tone. Let's try number two. Cool, let's move on. So that's more my taste for a high gain sound. Let's move on. Lots of low end. So for me, I think number three was the one that I was digging the most. So 
So I'm going to throw on some reverb. a lovely lovely lead tone that was cab three um where's the sagging we've got let's just see what happens crank the sagging up full sag I actually prefer it with no sag. Anyway, it's really easy to find a nice sound with any of these amp models, like the Clean Crunch Lead or Ultra. I say amp models, I mean channels. Um, so used to you know referring to things as amp models these days is what this technology coming to either way look we've got four channels that was the lead really really nice i found that cab three was my favorite um then quickly dialed in a sound to get the lead going and it really yeah sounded fantastic yeah i'm into it so i've got rid of the effects let's see what happens when we throw the boost on top of this intense high gain sound here we go gives you more gain it, it it pushes everything more it's there's more compression and because you're hitting the front end with that boost i'm assuming that's where it's placed and it just feels really really powerful really nice super shred tone anyway so that's the uh, lead with all the uh, boost in front let's move on to ultra here we go we've got some uh, we've got some noise gatage as well this is off Let's put it up on full. No, it's not cutting out. Yeah, there you go. Okay, but that's that's the noise getting full. So it's it's not like a super hardcore you know, for gent, I suppose, but it's definitely there to clean up a bit of hiss when you've got a lot of gain going on for solos and stuff. So that's cool, let's try a different cab. So for me, I, anything with a lot of gain, it's all about cab three. Sounds great. Okay, let's just mess with the gain. I'm gonna push the gain. Let's get rid of some bass, push the mids. And I'm gonna put the sagging off. But let's just see what happens at sagging halfway. Oh, that's really nice. Um, it brings out a lot more top end. So 
So I would probably put that back down. Maybe put it on two or three. Yeah, that's nice. Okay. So let's throw on some reverb and delay. And maybe a bit of a... So I was, try I was trying to do the, the kind of the Van Halen thing a little bit. Obviously not the playing, but just like, you know, slow phase of loads of gain. It's great. It feels so good. And for me, like I said, Cab 3 is the one for, for you kind of uh, anything, lots of gain, because it's just got a nice mid-range to it. It's not too toppy or anything. Into that. Let's throw on the boost. So that was all the different amp channels and with the boosts and respective effects that you can throw on there and trying the different cabs to see what's, what's going on. Now obviously this entire floorboard is programmable so all of what I did just then I can program into each of these in different applications like the Direct 7. Each of those sounds could be uh, programmed into one of the 7 foot switches or I can, I can save them to in preset mode you've obviously got uh, four presets you can choose between and then you can jump bank but then you've still got the use of a tap tempo which is here. So I could save four of those sounds and then move to a different bank and do the same thing. Or if I used it in some box mode, I could have set up you know, one of those sounds and then control things like the boost the, and all the different effects that I turned on and off. So um, there are, what I like is that they've kind of gone, how many different applications will people use this? Uh, and then had a little brainstorm and gone, well, let's distill these down into three different sort of category types for how you'd go about using this in terms of functionality, um, which I like. It's like, Let's take a product that, that's done really well that we enjoy and let's throw that into a floorboard for because obviously everybody's using floorboards now. You know, you've got the Axe stuff, you've got the Kemper stuff, you've Helix. Um, you know, everybody's trying to do it now. And I like that uh, Hughes and Kettner had a great idea in an amplifier and they went, well, we could use that in a floorboard. Let's just put that and the foot switch together and, you know, throw on a few little extras. But then it, it stands up against the others, in my opinion. Um, and it's still more of an amplifier. It's like the blue guitar thing as well. Like it's more of an amp uh, in, a, in a floorboard, which I like. You know, it still sounds just like the other one. And of course you can get all these different sounds that work in different applications. Uh, I love the way they've done the, the DI out on this with the different cab types, because there's probably a cab for any kind of tone that you want to find in there and with any kind of guitar. And yeah, the, just the way it works, nice and easy. I can dial in whatever I want. And again, it's 200 watts. I can throw that into a cab if I want on stage. I've got a monitor out as well, so I can have my own monitor and control that with a level. Um, yeah, I'm impressed. I like it, you know? Like, I've definitely seen plenty of floorboard uh, pieces of gear in my time doing this kind of thing on YouTube. And this one stands up against all of them, in my opinion. Um, so if it's the type of sounds that you're after, if, if, if the functionality and the way that the floorboard's laid out and everything about it works for how you'd like to use this type of product, then yeah, I, I, you know, th there's not really anything bad to say about it. It works. I like the expandability of it with the control features, the boost, the pre-loops and stuff. You know, all the different ways of controlling it, MIDI and all that stuff, you've got this, yeah, basically, I'm just reiterating myself. 
I think this is great. I enjoyed the way it sounded. I enjoyed the way it felt to play. Um, so yeah, let me know what you think in the comments section below. If you want to know more about the Hughes & Kettner Black Spirit 200 floorboard amplifier, I'll put all the links in the description box below. But yes, let me know what you think. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks to Hughes & Kettner. Like, subscribe and share and I'll see you all very soon.